U.S. Sludge Doom Outfit Weed Eater will tour Australia this November as part of the When the Weed Meets a Speed Tour with Australia's King Parrot, starting at Most Desert Clubhouse on November the 6th. It will be Weed Eater's first visit to Australia since 2016, and when we caught up with the band, the first thing we asked was, why have they neglected us for so long? We're not attempting to neglect you. I'm not sure if you're aware, but it's kind of far away from where we live. And um, we love Australia. We've always had a good time there. But it's just not easy to get there, and it costs a lot of money to do so, and it's a big pain in the ass. But when we get there, we have a damn good time. And I would like to ask you a question. Why have you not come to Wilmington, North Carolina, and visited me? <laughs> All righty, you got me there, mate. Fair call. <laughs> so it, it's a massive run of shows for you, bro, with 11 dates over 12 days. It's not a bad effort. Yeah, I mean, uh, we wanted to play more shows than we did back in 2016 when Conan was direct support. We had a great time, but we really only hit the East Coast and Perth and none of the middle of the country or continent as it is. But um, with King Parrot, um, you know, Maddie and those boys have, have fi fixed this to where we're going to get to play some more places we never would have gotten to play without them. And we, we're fucking, we're stoked to do it. As you mentioned, you'll be coming over to join King Parrot on the tour, which is called When the Weed Meets the Speed Tour. And that pretty much says it all. Uh, yeah, I guess they're speaking about the fact that we are weed eater and they are faster we are in uh, some of their tempos. I don't know if that was a question, but we're very excited to play with our mates. We love them to death and uh, would play with them anywhere on the planet. They're our buddies. Now, you've toured extensively through North America and Europe with King Parrot, but have you ever actually played with them on their own home soil before? No, we have never played Australia with King Parrot. Uh, I believe they were busy when we were there the first time and the only time that we played Australia New Zealand was with Conan as direct support and um that they were it was awesome and actually a couple of them, the King Pear boys did come out to shows but um no this will be our first time playing Australia with King Parrot. So tell us your best story about life on the road with King Parrot that you can without getting anyone in the shit. Ah oh, shit I don't know um when we first met them the very first night we met them we were I believe in Belgium ship maybe um we were somewhere in Europe and they were direct support for us all through Europe. And they were awesome dudes. We, th we thought they were fucking hilarious. And somebody brought them a box of hand biscuits. And by the way, they call them biscuits. Where I come from, biscuits are big ass biscuits. But I guess in Europe, biscuits are crackers. Uh, whatever. But they brought them hand biscuits. I thought it was hilarious. And then um, uh, later, after a full U.S. tour, they ended up at my house. And me and Slats and uh, Youngie and uh, I don't remember who all was there, but we had a crazy dance party for seven hours, just just dancing, Michael Jackson and such. Yeah, well, Slats has been known to pop out a boogie or two in his time. <laughs> now, you're also going to have um, Aussie bands Astro Death and Chuff joining the tour, mate. So do you know much about them? I don't know anything about um, either one of those bands except for the fact that I know that uh, King Parrot Boys um, champion both of them, and I trust their judgment on this one. Chief, I have seen Matt Youngie wearing the shirt uh, many times, and, and it, if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for us. Now, for the benefit of those who might not have seen Weed Eater before or who've forgotten about it because it's been a while since you've been here, run us through a typical Weed Eater live show and what to expect. Uh, we have a good time. We want the crowd to have a good time with us, and we want to have a good time together. And uh, we, we've been doing this for a very long time, and we know the difference between a good and a bad time. So have a fucking good time, damn it. That's an order. Don't have to tell me that twice, brother. Not indeed. Now, the press release calls the band Sludge Toned Tar Heels. Now, what the fuck does that even mean? Well, I understand that you probably don't realize, um, you know, on the other side of the world, down under, as you are, but uh, where we live in North Carolina, it's a slang term for any North Carolinian is a Tar Heel. It has to do with many different things. It has to do with the type of soil that we have here. It also has to do with the type of work that was done here back in the 17 and 1800s. So um, look it up. But uh, we are known as Tar Heels. North Carolinians are known as Tar Heels. 
And I don't, I kind of know why, but you just have to, you have to read about it. Weed Eater have also got your own brand of hot sauce, mate. So you're going to be bringing any of that over to burn the fuck out of us? Well, it's actually very delicious. It's not super hot, but we probably will not bring any of it unless we can have it shipped there because we don't carry anything but ourselves and guitars, basically, when we fly uh, to different countries. But uh, that's that's a good point. I will, I will look into it and see if we can have some shipped over. But you can always go to OuterLimits.com and order some, and they'll bring it to your house. That's correct. OuterLimitsHotSauce.com. Hit up Ed. He's a good motherfucker, and he will send you some hot sauce. Of many different flavors, too, not just weed eater. Plus, King Parrot have their own brand of whiskey through Grog Lords as well, so you might be able to bring some and uh, do a bit of a trade of sorts. I love whiskey, and I'll trade them anything for their whiskey. I mean, I'll... I don't know. I'll suck them off, hand jobs, whatever they may need. I do. I do. Clearly, I like my whiskey. We all do. And what's not to love about a good whiskey, anyway? So, um, you guys released your most recent album, Goliath, and back in 2015, mate. So, have you done any work on the follow-up yet? There has been much talk of a new weeder record, especially from the record label. <laughs> But, um, yeah, we were already prepared to record a record in December, um, which is coming right up. And um, the guy that's done our last three records, and Steve, Steve Albini, passed away. And we, so now we don't know what we're going to do uh, right now. We're going to have to uh, figure that out. So we won't be recording in December. We will try and figure out how the hell to do this. And... Uh, and get a record to you as soon as possible. All right, I just say there's someone out there that doesn't really know much about Weed Eater and they're thinking about coming to the show. Give us three songs of yours for them to listen to to get better acquainted with the band. Yeah, my answer to that would be listen to stuff that um, that you don't hear a lot, like Bull or Buzz or Dummy or Homecoming. I know that's more than three, but that's an answer. So what does the rest of 2024 leading into 2025 have in store for Weed Eater once you're finished with Australia? Well, we're going to have Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, they say that you have to every year, even though I'm pretty sure Jesus was born in July. Um, we're going to try and figure out how we're going to do this new record, and we're going to take some time off until uh, March or April when there are, there's big news to be announced then. They can't, they can't be divulged at this exact moment. All right, mate. Well, thanks for joining us today. Our Weed Eater will be in Australia with King Parrot, Astrodeath, and Chuff for the When the Weed Meets the Speed Tour, kicking off at Most Desert Clubhouse on November the 6th before travelling through Queensland, New South Wales, ACT, Victoria, South Australia, and Western Australia. Tickets available from www.kingparrot.com. Dot